The mountains you have always trusted to stand eternal, scientists now say they are sinking. Instruments on the peaks measure a real, ongoing drop. Does it mean the ancient Appalachian bedrock is finally giving way? Here is the truth. The numbers tell a story almost no one expects. One where microscopic sinking becomes undeniable proof of unmatched stability. But how could motion this small change what you thought about your very homeland? On a brisk autumn morning, a team of geologists climbs the rocky spine of the Blue Ridge. They carry more than notebooks and rock hammers. Bolted to the summit, a squat metal antenna quietly tracks the mountain's every move. This isn't old-fashioned surveying. The device is a continuous GPS receiver, tuned to satellites orbiting thousands of miles overhead. Every second, it records the exact position of the mountain's peak, down to a fraction of a millimeter. Nearby, a portable seismic station hums, its sensors buried beneath the leaf litter. It listens for the faintest tremors, signals that could betray the mountain's hidden motion. At the edge of the overlook, a rugged laptop displays a live feed, a string of numbers slowly updating as data streams in from above. The readings show a subtle, persistent trend. The mountain isn't standing perfectly still. Its summit is drifting downward. Satellite radar interferometry, known as INSAR. From space, satellites like Sentinel-1 scan the region with radar, measuring the ground's position from one pass to the next. By comparing the phase of returning signals over months and years, scientists can spot vertical shifts smaller than the thickness of a fingernail. The two techniques, GPS on the ground, INSAR from above, tell the same story. The Southern Appalachians, once thought immovable, are showing a real, measurable drop. Seismic records, too, confirm the absence of disruptive quakes, but reveal a quiet, continuous settling. Geological survey teams have logged vertical displacement at multiple peaks, from Mount Mitchell in North Carolina to Spruce Knob in West Virginia. The numbers are consistent year after year across different instruments and locations. There's no denying it. The foundation of the Appalachians is not frozen in time. Modern science is catching motion where none was expected, and the measurements are too precise to ignore. Less than three sheets of standard printer paper. That is the total amount the Southern Appalachians drop in a year, under 0.3 millimeters. The number sounds almost imaginary but it is confirmed by the most sensitive instrument science can offer. Stack up three sheets of paper. That is the full measure of annual movement, not just for one peak, but for the entire spine of the Blue Ridge, the Smokies, and the Alleghenies. Over the course of a century, the total shift is about three centimeters, just a little more than an inch. In a thousand years, the mountains would settle by only 30 centimeters, or roughly one foot. For perspective, a fence post driven into the ground today would barely notice such a change before it rotted away. The numbers hold steady, no matter where you look. GPS stations at Mount Mitchell in North Carolina and Spruce Knob in West Virginia both record vertical motion well under the 0.3 millimeter mark. Satellite radar, analyzing the ground from orbit, reports the same. Some parts of the range, called null regions, show no measurable vertical movement at all. In these pockets, the crust is so steady that even the most advanced sensors cannot detect any sinking or rising. The southern Appalachians, once feared to be in decline, are in fact moving so slowly that the change is invisible to the naked eye and barely registers with the most advanced technology on Earth. This is the so-called catastrophic sinking, a movement so slight it takes a hundred years to match the width of a thumb. The numbers do not lie, and they do not offer any cause for alarm. Instead, they reveal a mountain range in a state of near-perfect balance, 
where the slow work of gravity and time produces only the faintest trace of motion. For anyone who grew up believing these hills were eternal, the science offers something close to reassurance. The mountains are not collapsing. Their foundation is holding strong, shifting at a pace that makes even the passing of generations seem hurried. Across the Atlantic, the Himalayas are surging upward at rates that make the Appalachian numbers look frozen in time. Satellite and GPS stations in Nepal routinely record vertical movement of 5 millimeters per year, 15 times faster than the Blue Ridge. In the American West, the Rocky Mountains are on the move as well. Geodetic surveys show the Front Range and neighboring peaks rising 2 to 4 millimeters per year, a rate more than 10 times the pace of any Appalachian summit. The raw numbers tell a story. In the time it takes an Appalachian peak to settle by a single sheet of paper, the Rockies have shifted the thickness of a pencil. Iceland, perched atop a volcanic rift, offers an even starker contrast. The ground there can move 20 millimeters in a single year as magma churns below. That is more than 60 times the rate measured in the southern Appalachians, enough to change the landscape in a single human lifetime. It is the global gold standard for bedrock stability. Global vertical motion databases confirm the point. Out of thousands of monitored locations, only a handful match the Appalachian record for stillness. By movement rate, these mountains stand in the top 5% of Earth's most stable crust. The numbers do not just reassure, they invite a new kind of pride. Appalachia's bedrock is not just holding steady. It is outperforming nearly every other mountain range on the planet. Deep beneath the rolling ridges, the story of Appalachian stability is written in layers of ancient rock. These mountains rest on a crustal route that plunges nearly 100 kilometers toward the mantle, a foundation built during the collision of continents 300 million years ago. Over eons, wind and water have slowly stripped away the peaks, lowering the surface grain by grain. Yet as each ton of rock is carried off by rivers, the mountains quietly adjust. This is isostatic adjustment, the crust settles in perfect balance, like a raft lowering itself as cargo is unloaded. The current erosion rate, around 27 millimeters per thousand years, is so gentle that the land barely budges. She adds that the Appalachians are subsiding at less than 0.3 millimeters per year. That is not a warning sign. It is the signature of a mountain range that has reached geological equilibrium. The slow settling is not caused by any fault or collapse. Instead, it is the natural response of an ancient landscape that has found its balance. Mantle convection beneath the region continues, but its effects are subtle, just enough to maintain a steady, almost imperceptible motion. For people living on this bedrock, the practical meaning is clear. Foundations built on Appalachian stone rest on some of the most stable ground on Earth. Seismic records show fewer than one minor earthquake per decade in the region. Water tables stay steady, and the land beneath homes, roads, and forests moves so little that it is effectively permanent. The same forces that once raised these mountains now guarantee their endurance. The measured sinking is not a threat, but a quiet promise these hills are here to stay. Today, the rock beneath Appalachia moves less than a hair's width each year, placing it in the top 5% globally for stability. In an era of shifting ground, these mountains offer rare certainty. Your foundation is as steady as Earth allows. That's not just stability, it's a legacy that endures. Share your thoughts below.